What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School Memory. And if you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, I did the rig rundown for 2022 and I showed you all my personal dive gear that I'm currently using this year. And I got an overwhelming response of, hey, can you show us how you clean your gear personally and what you do? And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start a brand new series here and I'm going to show you how I clean every single system of my total dive system. So we're going to look at the snorkel system, the exposure system, the buoyancy system, the air delivery system, and I'm going to walk you all the way through step by step just how easy it is to clean your gear, and I'm going to show you personally how I clean my gear as well. Well, in today's video, we're going to start with part one of how I clean my personal snorkeling system. So we're going to look at mask, we're going to look at fins, and we're going to look at snorkel, and I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly how we do that. All right, guys, so I've got several different items here that I'm going to start with. Um, we've been doing a ton of salvage work here lately, so I've got my full face mask as well. I've also got just a traditional mask. This is the mask I wear all the time when I'm out diving for fun or if I'm teaching a class. And I've actually got several sets of fins. We're going to be focusing on uh, my power planus here. These are from, from Marez. These are what I wear when I do salvage work, so they really get a lot of dirt and grime and stuff like that in them. So those are the items that we're going to be uh, washing today or cleaning. And we're also going to be looking at my rolled up snorkel because, guys, personally, I don't wear a snorkel, but I do keep this with me at all times. If I ever need it, I can pop it out. And this gets probably as much grime as anything else just staying in a pocket. So the first one that we're going to look at, of course, is the full face mask. Now, I need to prep this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and take my comm unit out because I don't want this comm unit uh, exposed to water longer than I need it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. It gets a slightly different procedure than what the mask itself does. But I'm going to leave the flashlight on because normally it gets wet anyways. Uh, leave the camera mounts, all that on. Basically, all I'm going to do is just submerge the mask. Now, before putting anything in the water, I've already pre-treated this water. And you guys know I love the Pow Palau products. They come in a 16 ounce, a 32 ounce bottle, and you get these little two ounce bags as well. These are great to travel with, especially at the end of the week, say you're on a tropical destination, you just tear the pouch open, pour it in, and pretty much two ounces for five gallons is really all you need. My box here holds a little bit more than five gallons of water, so the bag's gonna be just perfect for that. And the great thing about this, all you gotta do is just let it soak. It's gonna do everything for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that mask in. I'm just gonna let it start soaking. I'm gonna take my traditional mask here, the one I teach with, put it in, let it start soaking. And then of course, I'm gonna put my snorkel in and let it soak as well. Now I'm gonna come back to the fins in just a minute. But after it soaks, you wanna let it soak for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. And what it's gonna do is that Pal Palau is just gonna break down all that bad bacteria that got in there, whether it's from you, whether it's from the environment or whatnot. And then I'm just gonna simply take a toothbrush and I'm gonna start scrubbing. I'm gonna scrub the lenses really good. Now, how often do I do this? Well, I typically always wash my gear after every dive, but that's just a simple rinse. This is what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna be storing my gear, say for a day or two days or something like that. I'm just gonna scrub it around the best I can, all the way around the lens really well, both front, inside, outside, whole nine yards. Same thing on the snorkel. Even though I don't use it, you can start to see the dirt and grime in there, so I'm just gonna take a toothbrush, and I'm gonna scrub it out really well. I'm going to inspect to make sure the purge valve is good, make sure the clip is good, all is well. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down, let it stay down in there. And then with my full face mask, the thing with full face mask, because we're in hazmatic environments, I still want to wash it the best I can with some type of detergent, if you will. And I like a very mild detergent. That's why another reason I used Pal Palau. But I'm just gonna scrub it around. Now with full face masks that are air integrated models, which this one is, you don't have to use defog. So once I get all this done, I wanna make sure that everything dries very, very well. And I'm just gonna do a quick, a quick uh, inspection here too, just to make sure everything's working good and everything appears to be the way it should be. But I'm just taking my toothbrush and I'm scrubbing it around. It's real simple. It's not very hard. My 10 year old can do this. So if she can do it, anybody can do it. All right, so now that that's all nice and scrubbed, once again, I'm just gonna let it set. So the complete runtime on letting these things set, like I said, is about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna let it set after scrubbing the remaining of that 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna simply hang it up to dry. The fins, however, they're gonna get a little bit extra treatment here. So I'm gonna take the fins, I'm gonna dip them down in there, get them really good and wet. And one good thing about these fins are solid rubber, so you're not really gonna damage these in any way. But I'm gonna take a slightly larger brush here, and I'm just gonna scrub it really good. Because these fins are constantly 
uh, in some type of hazmatic environment, I need to get all that hazmat off of there. So I'm gonna scrub around. Now I will sometimes use dome dish detergent on this as well. It's probably the best degreaser out there that's still a mild soap, so to speak. So I just kind of spray it on there, rub it on there, and I'm just gonna scrub. And I'm gonna get all that bad hazmatic stuff off of there. And then when I come to my buckles here on my spring straps, I'm just gonna kind of take a brush here and scrub it around really good. I'm gonna inspect the post, make sure all that's good. So once everything's said and done like so, once again, set them in there, set it, forget it, the remainder of the 15 minutes, and then virtually you're done. It's as simple as that. It's not a difficult process to actually clean your gear. As a matter of fact, if you want to know more about how to take good care of your gear, check out the SSI Equipment Techniques program. I'll put a link down below for you as well, and that way you can check it out. And you're going to learn all about the different types of gear and how we clean them as well. But the last thing that I do is simply hang it up to dry. And when I do that, I'm going to make sure I'm using the proper hangers, and I'm not going to leave it out here in the sun. I'm going to put it in a cool, dry place. If you guys saw my video on the personal dive locker, that's typically where I hang it up to let it dry. But guys, that's it for the Mass Men Snorkel video. Stay tuned because we've got an entire series on how I wash the rest of my gear, whether it's BCs, wetsuits, dry suits, the whole nine yards. I'm going to take you through step by step exactly how I do it. Because I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.